So I guess there's no better way to kick off today's seminar that's about ArcGIS Pro in ArcMap. So we are currently looking at a map document that contains multiple data frames. One is showcasing an earthquake impact analysis for the greater Vancouver area, while an accompanying data frame is focused on downtown Vancouver. And if we take a closer look, this map is just depicting how certain areas have buildings that are at greater risk of damage in the event of an earthquake. In this map document, I've also got a uh, layout. And this layout contains that primary map that I created, accompanying maps, and all of those um, uh, surrounding elements that you would usually see in your layout. Now, I find myself in the same situation as many GIS professionals. A lot of time and precise editing has gone into maintaining this map. And I'd like to show you how transitioning to ArcMap from ArcMap to ArcGIS Pro is relatively painless um, and super rewarding. So if you're not quite sure where to start or how to start this migrating process, start with what you've already got. So here I am in a blank ArcGIS Pro project, which I'll save later on. And using the contextual ribbon interface, I'll begin by importing our map document by uh, selecting it from the import map button. And by selecting it, I begin that import process. Now that primary data frame has been imported as a new map. And in this context, an ArcGIS Pro map view represents an ArcMap data frame from the ArcMap, from the ArcMap document. Uh, the accompanying data frame uh, is stored within the map container in the ArcGIS Pro catalog pane. So here, just like that map of Greater Vancouver, this map of the building damage um, analysis um, match the original map that was created in ArcMap. ArcGIS Pro uses a high performance drawing engine to ensure that maps and scenes draw quickly with smooth symbols and text. You might even notice after you import your uh, map document that your maps look even better after being imported. And that's because ArcGIS Pro uses anti-aliasing to make uh, lines and text uh, crisper and cleaner. In terms of that layout, that was imported as well. And that one is stored within the layout container in the catalog pane. Once it's opened, you'll see all of the familiar uh, maps and accompanying elements uh, that were added to our layout. Now, ArcMap users have long requested the ability to import multiple or create multiple uh, layouts within a single environment. And that's now possible with ArcGIS Pro. So I can uh, create a variety of different layouts depending on the scale and geography uh, that I'm working with. So this is just one example of the efficiencies that you can take advantage of when you transition from ArcMap to ArcGIS Pro. Now, one thing I haven't mentioned yet is how uh, 2D and 3D workflows are combined within a single project, which means that you'll have uh, fewer documents to manage. For example, in a different part of my analysis, um, it was better supported with 3D visualizations. I have custom uh, models and scripts that were used to understand regions in, Vancouver, in British Columbia that uh, have been subject to greater se seismic activity. And uh, the variable that was used within this analysis was the depth at which the earthquake occurred. So I used ArcScene to um, visualize the hypocenters, and those are the point of origin of each earthquake. If I head back to um, ArcGIS Pro, ArcGIS Pro is now the primary tool for authoring large web scenes and editing in 3D, which you'll see in greater detail later on today. I um, can easily drag and drop that SXD file that I've been working with. And I can begin to use and leverage some of the um, tools and like useful 3D storytelling tools that are available in uh, Pro. This includes animation and uh, working with uh, time information. So in a matter of minutes, I was able to consolidate a workflow that spanned multiple documents uh, within a single location. 
Now, in terms of models and scripts, uh, those are really central to a lot of the workflows and the work that we do. And I want to be able to run a lot of the models um, in pro with new variables without having to rebuild them. Now, the toolboxes that have been saved in ArcMap or ArcScene can be imported, validated, and then saved in Pro. Model Builder in ArcGIS Pro is fundamentally very similar to Model Builder in the other ArcGIS desktop applications. The model diagram uh, appearance is similar and uh, you still add data and tools within your um, model and then connect them to form processes. There are a few differences to using Model Builder in ArcGIS Pro, which might seem, which might need a little bit of getting used to, but it's worth noting that at, um, with Pro, a, it's a 64-bit application, so it takes advantage of modern hardware by using memory for processing and multi-threading, which means that you'll be able to perform other tasks while running this tool. Now, this reminds me that uh, when I imported my toolbox, I also had some custom Python scripts. And uh, one thing that the pro team has done is provide some out of the tools, out of the box geoprocessing tools to help you with that transition. So, for example, I have some custom scripts and I can use the analyze tools for pro tool to analyze a toolbox or maybe a um, custom Python script which we'll go get. And what it'll do is once I run the tool, it'll highlight any issues that would prevent Python from a Python code or a Python based geoprocessing tool from running. So I'll just go ahead and get that started. And what it'll provide me some information um, and I'll, in this case, it picked up on um, some syntax differences between Python 2 and 3. So the Analyze Tools for Pro can um, pick up and highlight some issues that would prevent um, this type of tool from running. So it gives me exact information, the exact line where the issue is, and the type of syntax error that um, is happening. So I have all the information I need to fix that. Now, the next step in this project, I started in ArcGlobe. And what I've done is I was just uh, wanting to start an analysis about different subduction zones where earthquakes typically happen uh, near Vancouver. Now uh, that I've transitioned to Pro, what I can do is uh, continue using my models, uh, create a new layout, and um, just continue my analysis. And it's all done within that same environment. 